chants and honking horns tonight in downtown Baltimore. City teachers are calling for schools to stay closed until there are more safety measures in place. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. And this comes as the school district delays in person learning for another two weeks, giving them more time to get ready. Still, teachers are expressing their concerns, saying it is not enough time. WJC is live. Kelsey Kistner tells us what teachers want to see before returning to the classroom. Kelsey. Vic, Rick, yeah, well, that extension there now pushes the start date back to March 1st for some students to go back to in person learning. Now, some teachers that we spoke with say, although this is a victory, they still want to see a more concrete safety plan before they reopen the doors. Still not safe. It's the latest push from city teachers worried about heading back to school. It's not safe right now. Wednesday, teachers and students decked out their cars with signs and met at City Hall for a car caravan protest. <laughs> calling on city officials to come up with a written commitment for stronger safety standards. Educators are the first that really want schools open, but we have a list of demands. <laughs> This, as city schools announce they're delaying the start of in person instruction. <laughs> Kindergarten through second grade will now start March 1st. Grades 3 through 5 and 9th grade will start March 15th, and grade 12th will start April 12th. But I don't want to do it until it is safe. The rest of the schedule will be announced next month, although it's a victory. Some teachers, like Caroline Schmidt, a vaccine is on the horizon, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Why are we endangering lives? Are calling for a more concrete safety plan. <laughs> Teachers tell WJZ before students can go back to in person learning, they want school officials to make sure staff members are fully vaccinated. Ventilation upgrades are complete, minimum public health metrics are met for one week, and the school has a reliable testing program. We can make up learning loss. We cannot get lives back that are lost. With vaccines rolling out daily, teachers say it's important school officials make sure. Sure, everyone is vaccinated before returning to class. We all want to go back to school. We all want our kids back in school, but it has to be safe. Now, the school district says that they decided to delay in person learning to give more time for COVID testing. It also gives parents more time to see what in person looks like for them. Parents, of course, will still have the option whether or not they want to send their kids back to school for in person learning. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.